poverty is uh, a, a kind of a darkness around you. You don't see any hope, any ray of hope. Uh, you live every day the same way in the darkness. Uh, you don't have a future. In the early 70s, a young Muhammad Yunus, then an economics professor, left the city to do research in local villages like this one. Here I am teaching elegant theories of economics in the classroom and people are dying uh, outside the classroom and we have nothing to do about it. He found people making many beautiful products, yet they remain desperately poor. To an economist, it didn't make sense. Something was missing. But if you look around, who are the people really working? It's the poor. They work their pants off. Professor Yunus realized that the only way the villagers could buy supplies to create small businesses was with high interest loans from unscrupulous money lenders there was no other option. And money lenders were imposing very terrible conditionalities on them. Like you have to sell your product to me at the price that I decide, etc. that kind of thing. In one village, Muhammad Yunus found that he could provide life-changing loans to 42 people. They would cost a total of $27, an average of 64 cents each. He personally made the loans. And I was shocked. Here we talk about millions of dollars and billions of dollars of development assistance to help the economy grow and so on. We never paid any attention to people who needed such a small amount of money. That was the beginning of an idea that grew into the Grameen Bank, a bank for the rural poor. In the language of Bangladesh, Grameen means rural. It's also the idea for which Mohammed Yunus and the Grameen Bank were awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 2006.